All right, and we are live with Dirtwire here at the Pace Studio, downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks, y'all, for being here this morning. Afternoon. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Evan, David, and Mark, thanks for being here, and congratulations to you all on Electric River, uh, which is the album that is out now, and the tour that you are all on. You're in town for a show tonight of the Masquerade, which is very cool. Um, yeah. Soundcheck has been beyond interesting. Uh, super cool sounds, lots of uniquities, uh, and we can talk about that as we kind of go. Um, but yeah, thanks for all being here this morning. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, so we're going to hear uh, four songs today. A couple of the, the first two tracks kind of run together. If you want to tell us a little bit about uh, those two songs, that'd be awesome. Yeah, the first song uh, is called Cannonball. Um, that's a, one of the singles off Electric River. It's a, a love song that Mark wrote. You want to talk a little bit about it? It is. It's about love and insanity. Yeah. The the Electric Go River's Hand our new album, by the way. Yeah, Check yeah, yeah, yeah out now um and what was the actual release date on electric river that was uh october 18th yeah so, so just, we're just yeah it's it's not even a month old yet yeah it's a nice, baby nice well happy eventual one month anniversary on that um and thank you again so much for being here let's uh let's hear what we got going at love and insanity definitely are are, are a good pair okay <laughs> Down. 
Awesome. <laughs> that was very cool. There's a lot going mm-hmm. on. You guys, uh, you guys have uh, both literally and uh, physically uh, kind of brought the whole world with you here. Um, you, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the instruments that we're seeing are from uh, far-reaching places, um, many of which you have all been to, to get a hold of these things and to uh, familiarize yourself uh, with, with their origins. And I would uh, love to not put words in your mouth and have you tell me about uh, how, how all that came together, how you all have come together. And uh, I, I know that you mentioned that uh, for you, and, and I agree with this fully, music is definitely a form of, of healing ourselves, uh, but not only us, but also the earth. Um, and I, I feel all of this stuff gelling together, you've pulled from so many different places, and I'd love to hear your take on that. Yeah, well, we all, um, we all met at California Institute of the Arts in Los Angeles, and uh, we got to study a lot of different music cultures while we were there. Um, Balinese gamelan, Javanese gamelan, North Indian, South Indian, Brazilian, uh, jazz, classical, um, Eastern European guitar, um, all kinds of cool influences that have gone into what we do, as well as drawing from our own American roots and the blues and rock and roll and all the stuff we love. Yeah. So we've kind of mashed it all up with electronica as a as a kind of glue that makes it all fit together. Yeah. It's a really unique sound and I and I really I really am I'm digging it heavily. It's not like a it's even cooler uh after sound check even while we're while we're doing this for real here. I'm, it's truly enjoyable. Um so you guys are in town like I said for a show at the masquerade tonight. Um, you've got one more southeast state, and then you're uh, in North Carolina, and then you're heading back west, Colorado and some west coast states. Um, where can we find out about when you are going to be where on the internet? What is your? This is your time to shout out your socials. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> check out uh, dirtwire.net, and we have our show listed there on our socials, uh, Instagram and uh, Spotify. Follow us on Spotify. Cool. That's the, the hub nowadays. Right, indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, and uh, continue to check out pacemagazine.com uh, for more of these and more from Dirtwire. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Your kickoff show was uh, on the 7th uh, in, uh, in uh, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, 7th <laughs> Mountain in Bend, Oregon. That was kind of the tour kickoff, right? And uh, you've been on the road since? Yeah, we've been full on for like most of, well, most of the fall. Cool. Um, but we did a little East Coast run, and then uh, we just finished a big West Coast run. And, uh, yeah, we had a great uh, album release party in Joshua Tree. Um, big shout-out to our Southern California desert family yep. out there. Yep. Yeah, I can, uh, I've been to Joshua Tree, and I can imagine this being an, uh, an excellent soundtrack <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to any kind of um, uh, sort of uh, self, self-spiritual journey uh, that happens uh, a lot of times. That's it what Joshua Tree is good yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, it feels it's, good. Um, well, thank you again all for bringing this uh, to us today, Evan, David, and Mark. It's been great. Um, we got a couple more songs. So what are we going to hear next? This is a, a sort of a cut into our song Yunnan. We're going to do a, a little remix of Yunnan for you, a little segment of it. This is a, a jaw, features the jaw harp. Riptide verse or Yunnan? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess I, I mistaked. Mistooken. So right? It might be if we have a quick moment, maybe you want to intro the Ningoni oh, real yeah. quick. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's tell us about some of these Whoopsies. cool, these cool pieces. Tell you about, um, We're gonna do Riptide. Tell you about this guy. Yeah. This is the Whamala. This was legend has it gifted to Les Claypool of Primus in a parking lot. Apparently, wow. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, this guy came up to him and he said, "Hey, man, I want you to have this." And he handed him one of these. And Les looked at it. He goes, "Oh, this is cool." And he turned to look at the guy, and the guy was gone. So nobody knows where it came from or who made it. Wow. And uh, it's become kind of mythological. And uh, a friend of ours, Bryn Levinson, made this one. Very cool. Yeah, and it, yeah, it sounded awesome. Right on. <laughs> and going this one j bass pickup at the bottom there and yeah, one string, yeah. and that's all you need because you've yeah. got a full got a spectrum. Fishman acoustic there. bass pickup, too, and then it merges. And awesome. Yeah, one yeah. stringer whammy. Very cool. What else we got on deck? At the end. All right. This is called a Kamala Ngoni. It's a West African harp. And uh, it's got a gourd and cow skin, and this is uh, actually fishing line strings. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's from Bal- uh, Mali and Burkina Faso, West Africa mostly, but all over West Africa. And uh, I learned it from um, a guy in San Francisco who's, who makes them 
teaches this instrument. Very cool. Yeah, sounds sounds, sounds heavenly. Did you do it? <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Yeah, right. So this is Riptide, not Yunnan.
Very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, you got me uh, definitely uh, keeping up here with, the, with some of the camera angles on all the cool stuff. But there's so much happening, and I love it. Um, very rich, very rich sounding tunes. And th again, very appreciative that you all are here today. Um, so uh, all of you have, uh, some of you have been involved in, in other groups, uh, and I'll let you kind of tell us about that. Um, Dave, we can, uh, David, we can start with you. Um, Beats Antique, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've been, uh, Beats Antique's been going strong since 2008. So like we've, you know, just passed 10 years and, um, Zoe just had a baby, so that's changed things. So we're changing, we're changing our, our, uh, touring schedule right now. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Beats Antique has been a yeah, huge part of my life and, and so a couple others as well, and uh, and Evan, I know you've you've been up to some other stuff in the in the in your days. This is not the you are not one sided. This is not the only thing we're we're up to. Uh, you guys are all pretty busy. Um, yeah, yeah, I I've been with a few other groups. I'm, I have a couple going too. Um, the Dogon Lights and uh, yeah, House of Hamsa. I used to play in a band called Hamsa Lila too. So uh, yeah, Mark. Yeah, I have a solo project, Banjo Sabbath. Check it out. Put out a track a week. Nice. And I draw a picture of an animal with each one. Very cool. So it's a twofer. Nice. I like that. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for uh, doing this right now in this moment in time and bringing it to us again. I, I, I'm gushing a little bit. It's been very cool to have you all in the studio today. Um, I wanted to shout out uh, the album artwork. Uh, it's very cool, and I would love for you to give proper credit where credit is due um, and tell us how that kind of uh, assists in representing you all and the sound. Yeah, the, um, we, we picked the title Electric River, and <clears throat> we were searching for art, and uh, our, our good friend uh, Ron uh, Johnson and his uh, wife Brandy uh, let us use their studio in Boulder Mountain um, Ranch or Boulder Mountain Guest House, and we used their studio and um, to finish the album. And there was this painting in one of their in their saloon, their gallery, and it was perfect. It was this uh, like beautiful electric river of like psychedelics, and because um, we're trying to explain our relationship with psilocybin, because we use psilocybin to uh, record and, and and journey and channel melodies and get. Um, into other dimensions of reality. So the artwork <coughs> represented that, and the uh, the artist is a, ended up being a dear friend named Carrie Thompson, who used to be a, his roommate. Cool. It was a coincidence. And <coughs> the uh, woman on the cover is Maria Sabina, who is the Southern Mexican um, uh, shaman uh, who, uh, who introduced uh, psilocybin mushrooms to the West. So it was in, in honoring her. And in, uh, and in the decriminalization movement, you know, we're trying to, like, be vocal now about the benefits of psilocybin yeah. and, and all that good stuff with this album. I'm, well. not, I'm not a stranger to those benefits and the, the tuning in that can occur. Yeah. Uh, I call it church. Right. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, um, yeah so uh, I feel that. And I, and I feel it within uh, what you all are doing today. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's good work to be doing because I, I feel like when we were talking a little bit like an ultra nerd level about, about pitch frequency and stuff earlier. Um, but, yeah, I feel like a lot of folks are, are very out of tune. Mm -hmm. um, and that is an excellent key to unlock uh, sort of that, that, that infinite interconnectedness that really is part of this whole thing and this spinning sphere we're all occupying. So mm -hmm. appreciate you uh, sharing that and, uh, and putting it out there in, in musical form. Thank so, you. Yeah. We got one more. Is this the is this the the jaw harp track? Yes. Awesome. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, we're all gonna be playing these mouth harps, also known as jaw harp or G. <laughs> They're from every Asian country, every European country. They've sometimes South America and Africa. Everybody has their own version of this instrument. Yeah, and they they've certainly made their way into uh, like our sort of. Uh, immigrant American roots music as well. Exactly. Um, you know, they, it goes way back, and it's nice to know that they're as. You, I didn't realize they were that ubiquitous. That's actually very cool. And you can buy them on our website if you if you're inspired uh, and want to get one of these. You can get them through us. So just contact very us. Very cool. Check our website. Good Dirt plug. Yeah. Nice plug. Yeah, yeah. check I, that out. I heard we already know. We already know the website URL. Dirtwire.net. Yeah. So. Yeah. I heard a factoid that this is the only instrument that's found on every continent. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's so Antarctica. simple in, in its design, but it's not simple to play. 
as I have made many attempts <laughs> unsuccessfully. It doesn't take that long. Either. Okay, all right. Well, I guess it's a matter of commitment then and not skill. But um, appreciate it. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this. Absolutely cool, you guys. Thank you. That was a treat. Thank you all for being here. And again, you're in town for a show at the Masquerade, so if you're in the Atlanta area, check that out. Otherwise, check out yourwire.net for future dates and goings-on and happenings. Um, what's 2020 going to bring for you all? More albums. More albums. More albums. Going cool. to Costa Rica and Vision Fest. Um, Jam and Jam's coming up. Uh, going to Australia. Rainbow Serpent. And uh, we've got a European tour coming off and May. Um, we're going to be doing the West in the spring. Very cool. Um, getting around. So, uh, what else we got? Uh, yeah, Lucidity. Lucidity. Yeah, yeah. We're talking. Yeah. yeah, we got we got things coming up. Yeah, coming yeah. up. Check out Drewart.net. That's All right. pretty much. Yeah. That's a, Back to yes. Europe in August. We'll be in LA uh, November 30th at the Terragram. Cool. Yeah, great right. spot. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you all again uh, for joining us today, and safe travels to all of those yeah. destinations. Thank yeah. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Peace. Yeah.